Hello. Hi. So, uh, what group are we with here? Chasing Bones Inspectors. Uh, introduce yourself a little bit. Okay, well, I'm Blaine, or Blaine Blaze from Chasing Bones Inspectors. What's your function with the outfit? Well, I'm a co-founder, I'm an investigator, and I kind of do the walkthroughs before the walkthroughs. I see, scope out the area, I see where who belongs where and at what time type of a thing. I, I get a feel for the area and figure out who would get the best results from which location. Oh, okay, so in other words, you're the, uh, I guess you might say you're one of the point men on the team. I guess you could say that. Uh, okay, uh, what are you looking forward to investigating this year? Is there anything that, uh, not necessarily location, but what are you looking forward to? Mostly I'm just looking forward to getting back out there and seeing what we find. It's been a long break between last investigation and now. So. Okay, and there's a rumor. A rumor. A terrible, terrible rumor. Okay. Like a freaking horrible rumor. I love these. That uh, you plan on going back somewhere. Uh, yes. Uh, would you mind explaining where and why? Please, why? <laughs> <laughs> well, as I was saying, I... I kind of get to feel what the spirits have to say and communicate. So I got a feeling that we need to return to Centennial no. where we found the Wendigo because our work isn't done there. But why? Why can't it be done? Like, I'm happy to say we're done there. Because the spirits said we're not. Yeah, there is that. Uh-huh. So what, do you have any game plan or what do you expect uh, to find when you, when you go back, uh, for the last time, hopefully, uh, the very last time, uh, what do you hope to find there? What I expect to find, I'm not really expecting much of anything. I just know to expect the unexpected. So, as right now I don't expect much, that means I'm expecting to find a lot. And... What I'm hoping to find is whatever it is the spirits want me to find so we don't have to go back a fourth time. <laughs> <laughs> is there any uh, tips or... Uh, oh, just saw a couple of orbs go past you. Is there any tips or anything that you would uh, give to a uh, new paranormal team starting out? Like, say, they, they haven't really done any investigations or anything. Are there any tips that you would, you would like to pass on? Uh, definitely there's a few things one especially if you're an experienced never go alone even experienced members should probably not venture off on their own that being said we're a little bit special in that case and in this case <laughs> <laughs> uh, make sure you have prepared everything you're gonna need and it's never hurts to over prepare and make sure you do your research of the area because you don't want to go in there blind without knowing what you're getting yourself into. That always spells disaster. Those are very good points. Very good points indeed. Um, so anyway, uh, we pretty well going to go back to the places we went last time. Recap everything we did. And uh, hopefully uh, we'll be going out of town a little bit. That'd be enjoyable. With, with fingers crossed, we're working on uh, going out to Nipigon, Red Rock area, and stuff like that right now. Um, depending on health situations and financial situations, uh, uh, I plan on going across Canada and down into the States, which will be a lot of fun. I would enjoy that. I'd like to do a little bit of traveling and see what's a little bit further than our own backyard. Yeah. <coughs> Pardon me. Is there anything else that you'd like to say or any experiences you'd like to share or anything uh, before we before we move on? There's a few things I wouldn't mind saying or sharing, but I'm going to save that for another video. All right. So, uh, well, it was very nice chat with you for a minute. I hope the YouTubians had a nice visit with you. Anything you want to say to YouTubians? It's Blaine Blaze signing off. <laughs> there you go.
Понятно, действительно.